Hello everyone and welcome back to Undown Learners Pre-K. Happy Friday! What a busy week we've had. Are you ready to sing our good morning song? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and we'll fly our airplane to one side, fly to the other side, back to the middle. And now let's take our airplane wings and make a big circle out in front of us like this. Take the circle up over your head, stretch from one side, stretch to the other side. One last stretch up at the top and we'll bring our circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, there are three things that we need to do. First, we need to turn on our listening ears like this. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is right here next to me. I'm going to put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has some buttons underneath my chin. So I'm going to button them all up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. We warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. So let's double check. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are warmed up. And now we're ready for circle time. Let me grab my pointing stick and I'm going to point to the top of the chart. Right up here, we have the month. Do you know what the month is, friends? April, you're right. The month is April. Today is April 30th. I'm going to move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was April 29th. Today is April 30th. Right up here, we have the year. There are two ways that you can say the year. You can say that it's 2021. You can also say that the year is 2021. But both ways are correct. Look at this, friends. We are on the last day of April. After today, April 30th, we have no more days that are left in the month of April. Let's sing the month's song and you can listen very carefully and see if you notice what month comes after April. It goes like this. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Friends, did you hear what month comes after April? May. May will be here tomorrow. Today is the last day of April. Tomorrow will be the first day of May. Now let's move on to the Days of the Week song. We hold up seven fingers like this because we have seven days in our week. Are you ready to sing together? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart, right down here. This says that yesterday was th Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So that means that today is th Friday. Today is Friday, the last day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be Saturday. Tomorrow will be Saturday, the first day of the weekend. Let's go back to today. Will you sing Today is Friday with me? It goes like this. 
Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. I'm going to travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! That's right, friends. It's springtime. Now, let's go back down to the bottom of the chart. First, we need to sing the weather song together. Let's sing the new song that I taught you earlier this week. It goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather today? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it sunny out today? So it is another rainy day where I live. Right down here is a picture of a cloud with some raindrops falling. We are actually supposed to get thunderstorms lately. Thunder is just a loud sound that happens in the sky. It usually happens during storms. Have you ever heard the sound of thunder before? My temperature chart is on orange. That means that it's warm where I live, rainy and warm. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So because today is Friday, it will be our last day talking about this letter. Can you make this letter sound for me? That's right. And now let's make that sound together. K, K. Do you remember what, num what letter this is? K, that's right. This is a lowercase K. K says I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box. I know that it is something that starts with the letter K. K. Here's your first clue. This is something that's very small. This is a seed that is found on an ear of corn. It is also used to make popcorn. Do you have any guesses? Let's take a look. It's so tiny. In between my two fingers, I have a kernel. This kernel came from an ear of corn, and when it's heated up with oil, it makes popcorn. Kernel starts with the letter K, K. This is how you write a lowercase K, K. One more time. Today will also be our last day talking about this double digit number. Do you remember what number we've been talking about this week? 21. That's right, friends. When you write 21, first you write the number 2. Then you write the number 1, 21. And now let's draw or count 21 tally marks together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 goes across, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 goes across, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, and one more makes 21. 21 tally marks. We have one more thing to count together. Let's open up the box and see. I have 21 acorn tops. Let's make sure that I have all of them. Sometimes they like to hide inside of the box. 
but as I count them, I'm going to line them up across the top so that you can see. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, these two are connected by the stem. Three, four, five. Oh, these two are also connected. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to start a new row of ten right underneath. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and one more makes 21. 21 acorn tops. Today will also be the last day saying tree in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right, friends, and let's do that one more time all together. Tree. Since today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about plants in the springtime. What a busy botanical adventure we've had over the past two weeks. We've learned about seeds and bulbs, flowers, trees, and even mushrooms. Now, there are similarities and differences between flowers and trees. Can you think of something that they both have? Roots, that's what I was thinking too. So when a flower drinks water from its roots, where does it travel through before it gets to the leaves or blossom? The stem. But where does the water travel through when a tree drinks water? It travels up the trunk and through the branches to the leaves. Let's step outside for a minute because I have something really interesting to share with you. I'm kneeling on a tree stump from a very old white pine tree. Now, if you take a closer look at this tree trunk, you will notice that there are rings. Those are called growth rings, and those tell you how old the tree was. So if you count 20 growth rings on a tree stump, that means that the tree was 20 years old. But not only do the growth rings tell you how old the tree was, but it will also tell you a little bit about the season and the climate that year. So if the growth ring is wide, that means that it was a wet and warm season, but a thin growth ring means that the season was cold and dry. If you were a tree, how many growth rings would you have? Since we're already outside, let me show you your work for the day. For today's work, we are going to do tree rubbings against the bark of a tree. So the outer layer of a tree trunk, this is the bark right here. And right now I'm standing underneath an ash tree. So I'm going to get a piece of paper and a crayon and just rub gently against the paper and notice the pattern that the bark makes. So this is what it looks like when I rub on a, the bark of an ash tree. But let's go over to a maple tree and let's see the pattern that that bark makes. So now I'm at a maple tree and I already noticed that this bark looks different from the ash tree. And let's see if the rubbing will be different. So I already noticed right here that the bark seems to form some shapes. So these rubbings from the maple tree form shapes, whereas the rubbing on the ash tree just showed lines like this. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everyone wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
I'll see you next time. Join me next week as we move our focus to arthropods, which are spiders and bugs. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.